Hello everybody and welcome back to the 1 million chicken challenge. We are all set up, we're in November, 18 minutes past 9. Just a nice 19 degrees in November, that's pretty good going. As you can see, the field is ready to rumble. Look at this, beautiful. Now, it's quite an alarming figure. Looking at this little field info at the bottom here, potential harvest quantity. 1.16 million liters so we're going to jump straight in now we're going to go through and we might set a work run we're going to have a go to start with because we've got a break ground on our own field now let's just check then straw swath is enabled so let's go and activate that kick that in and i don't know what speed this thing will go so we'll just act cruise control and just see this is going to be like is this normal speed 29 that's not bad going now that again i've not got even though i do have a speed like unlocky mod that isn't activated i haven't done anything this is literally the speed that the reaper wants to go which is pretty good now i have just noticed i've got a i've got a, a funny little thing above my speedometer i've no idea what that is now while that's going i wonder if this is something to do with the vehicle control add-on because it does have a few little things on there now i'm gonna just sort of uh, i don't think i'm gonna be able to look through the menu in time before it, it kind of carries on and tries to end up in someone else's field so we'll get to the end 29 miles an hour is pretty nice speed i wonder if a worker will do that speed as well i'm assuming so because this is what the the reaper's actually made to go been modded that way it's not any special mod that's making it do that now we've got to be careful about the amount of straw dumping out there because we we're not using any big wacky baler that's you know like i normally use on my uh, let's plays i normally have my big round baler which just has a wider pickup picks up anything you throw at it we're just using the normal one which is part of the straw harvest so um yeah we've got to be a, got to be a little bit careful on that so let's just have a quick look in here then and see so there's a few things you can activate and like obviously the braking force so we'll turn that down a little bit so it it just means when i ease off the accelerator turning the braking force down means it will just sort of roll a bit more instead of the speed like dropping off really quick it will like roll a little bit so we'll do that that's the one the transmission hood uh we need to also go and activate where is it traction control there we go so it was it's the uh the hood I thought it was something to do with that, but I wasn't 100% sure, so let's just spin this around. Will this go straight round? That seems to be. It's got a nice, nice wide turn on that. Look at that. Beautiful. So let's just run back down here. I think from this point onwards, we should be okay with a worker. Now, is a normal worker going to be able to do this? I'm hoping so, because it allows me to go through with the baler and and basically turn these into pellets now i don't think that baler has much of a capacity it's been a while it was a uh, farm sim 19 when i last used this so i really can't remember what the capacity is of that baler but i don't think it's anything spectacular so i've got a feeling that maybe we're gonna have to empty maybe every sort of run up the field maybe more than that i, I really don't know so we're gonna find out in just a second and I think because this is uh, going 29, I think it was going to get through this pretty quick. And because we have quite a capacity in here, we won't have to keep... If it was a normal one, we would have to keep emptying it literally probably every run or every couple of runs. But we're doing all right at the minute. So I think we're just going to sort of slow this down here a little bit so it dribbles a straw onto the ground. We're going to get a lot of straw as well, aren't we? My word. We'll go and spin this around. We'll get it lined up and then I'm going to disable the guided steer in there we'll disable that now and then we'll press normal in-game worker and we'll jump out oh yeah now he should he or she whoever's driving should go yeah it looks like they're taking off it should go 29 because it, like i said it's not a a mod that's unlocked the speed even though i have got that I wonder if actually i don't think it would go any quick i think 29 is the max it will go it's been modded to do that 
Right, is, now it's been a while since I've used this. Is there anything we've got to do with this? Unfold pellet harvester. Well, that's a good one. Oh, the ladder's come down. Is that it? Is that all the unfolding was? Is the ladder comes down? Surely we don't need to unfold it, do we? I mean, do we need to unfold it? Nah, let's have a look at the pipe out. Has that got a, a fair... Does it go up at all? Oh, it has got quite a height. You know what? We might... We get out the trees. We might just be able to get it into that big trailer behind us. But I, don't, I really don't think we need it. I really don't think we're going to... Well, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll use, the, use that one for the wheat, I think. And we'll just do this normally. So I don't know what this is going to take capacity-wise, but... It'd be nice to use this again. I don't think it's the quickest thing in the world. Like I said, it's been a little while. So, uh, oh God, let's just go and dive over all these. Let's just go and uh, turn her on, drop her down, and we'll see what we can get. Six miles an hour. Six miles an hour. Oh, please tell me it can go quicker than that. Otherwise, I'm going to be here for the next six hours. Oh, it's filling up quick. Okay, cruise control. Um, I don't think we can go... I'm going to slow it down first on cruise control because we're not going to go like 40. Can we Can we at least go 10? Will it cope with 10 or is it going to start missing? Uh, it seems to be doing all right with 10. Can we go 15? Oh, we're pushing it now. I don't know what this baler is rated to to be able to for it to pick up. So we might miss a little bit. It seems to be doing okay, but it's filling up mighty quick. Oh my word. Look at this. It looks like it's gonna hold 10,000 liters. Oh, we are gonna have to empty every, what, two or three times per run of this. Oh, maybe straw harvesting was a mistake on my part here. I just thought it was something different. Now, okay. If this does get too much, I think I think I'm, I'm able because this is a mod now, not a DLC. DLC is a bit tricky to be able to mod because this is a mod. I should be able to go into the XMR file and like fine tune this. So maybe I can take the weight out of it and add a bigger capacity. It holds 9,000 liters. Oh my. Okay. Uh, let's go get the trailer and bring it over. I wonder what kind of tip it's got as well. So into a trailer. I mean, it's only 9,000 litres. It's not going to take long to empty out. But let's just go and let that tip into there. 9,000 litres. Oh, my. Yeah, we might have to do something with that. The tip is not bad. It maybe could be a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's definitely something I think we're going to have to look into, especially for this series anyway. Maybe on a normal farm, it will be okay. This is by far normal. And I've got a feeling I'm not going to get to the end before I need to tip again. And you can't set a worker on this. Now, I could try and set course play. Oh, I'm not sure. We might have to do something with this sooner rather than later. Let's... Can we jump back into this one? Can we keep the pipe out? Because I can't shut it down with the tractor there. Is it going to hit it? Don't hit it. Oh, don't tip into it as well. Okay. So, <laughs> my adventure thinking, you know what? Straw harvest, yes. This would be perfect for this because we're going to get a lot of straw. And this is going to be wicked to be able to do pallets of pellets. I didn't realize it was such low quantities. You see, testing before you do something like this might work better. The thing is... I, I, I wanted it just to go into this. Like I said, it should be doable. I should be able to tweak it if need be, if we can add a bit more space to this, especially for this kind of series. Yep, we're, we're not even going to get to the end before it's full again. At least we can go 15. We, well, we'll probably go a little bit quicker as well, but at least we can go 15. That's a lot better than six. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. She needs emptying again. Oh my. So I might have just left the game and done a little tweak. Um, oh, we can unlock speed now, I forgot. 
So yeah, I might have just done a little tweak on this because it, it what that was sort of getting a little bit too much, that was. And all I've done is everything else is the same. I've just maybe tweaked the capacity a little bit. When I say a little bit, well, it was 9,000 litres before it would do. Uh, let's just say now it will do 250,000. <laughs> I don't like sort of going excessive with these things, but especially when this series, you've seen the size of the field. We need something a bit bigger and 9,000 litres, it's, it's just not going to cut it, is it? So I'm going to see if we can go... Yeah. Is that really kind of let's just see if we can go on here again i want it to detect the working hey just say that it's just i want to keep it in a straight line so if we go and activate it it will just keep it in a straight line and run it down the swath rather than like you know wandering all over the place or me having to keep correcting it and we could just basically sit back now and chill out now i'm hoping it seems that I've managed to do that right and get the size quantity right. Yeah, we'll see. We're at five thousand liters already, two percent. So yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna be better this way. It's still gonna take a bit of time because, according to the file, it says that it could really go ten miles an hour. We're pushing it, I think, at fifteen. But so far, so good. It's not leaving any bits behind. This is gonna be quite good now. You could have done other little bits. Obviously, when once you get access to the files, you can do what you want with them, really. But I just wanted this to make you know be a bit bigger, so we didn't have to worry about keep tipping it. Now I have changed the speed as well of how fast it tips. It was set at like 250 liters. Might have made it 25,000 liters now. So it should tip out a lot quicker as well. But again, we'll find out that when we do come to tip. If I've done that right, I'm hoping so. Looks like the worker's doing a good job here because that's now going. It's set on like on a straight line. We can have a look around at the worker. Go through quite quick, that is a ladder. I wonder how much is in that combine at the minute. I think we'd be doing okay. We'll get to the end of this run and then we'll have a little look and see. Yeah, this is going to be quite good. We're, we're going to end up with a lot of pallets. The pallets are a thousand litre per pallet, which is good. I could have tweaked that and made the pallet bigger. I didn't really want to mess too much because I don't really want to, you know, go. There's so much information and so much detail in the straw harvest mod. I don't really want to go into it and start like changing everything. Can we get all that? Oh, yes. Okay, let's go and have a quick look at the combine, see how it's doing. You know what? It's doing all right, actually, but we are getting close with 77%. Nearly 200,000 liters in here. Now, we know it's going to be around about just over a million because of what it estimated. But is that correct or not? We are going to have to see. Now, it does look like the worker is slightly off on the header. It looks like we could gain a few more inches. Oh, hello. Wow, that's a strobe light and a half. I didn't know. I've not had that. Look at that. The worker's done that now because we hit 80%. It's a warning to say, I'm getting full. You need to tip me soon. That is a strobe light and a half. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it just seemed like the work is, you know, a few inches off. I mean, from what I'm told, every inch matters. How true that is, I don't know, but um, it, it, it's okay. It must just be, like, a measurement on the, on the header. It was working okay when I was doing it with the uh, vehicle control add-on, you know, with the, uh, the guided steering. But the worker seems to be just slightly off. Does it hang over this side or not? Have a look. Yeah, you see, look, it's just a, a little bit off. Not to worry. So the combine has come to a stop then. It's due its first unload. It's first 250,000 litres of wheat. And we're not that far, if you think about it. Now, let's just see. This is pretty quick on everything. Has he got a quick tip? Yeah, not bad them strobe lights yeah this is looking pretty good this we are going to get a lot off here now makes you wonder like I, I don't really know how much food it's going to take but we need the money first to be able to buy the chickens and then we'll be able to work out the food so 
If we're getting nearly 1. Point, what was it 1.16 million liters of wheat off this field every go, maybe could one field keep us going? Is it possible? Well, this is what this challenge is all about. We are going to find out together because I don't know, and I'm sure you guys as well. We've got an idea, but nobody's going to be sure, really. We're going to just have to find out. We've got 20 coops at 50,000 chickens in each. Yeah, I, I think this is going to take a lot of food. So is one field going to be enough? Only time will tell. Well, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed, actually. So, okay, we're not a million miles on from... Uh, well, you can see the field just there. We're not, we're not exactly far around with this. But we are picking up a lot. And this thing has impressed me, actually, because I've been slowly creeping the speed up to see what it will do before it starts, like, leaving stuff behind. And it seems to be comfortable between 30 and 35 miles an hour, which I am amazed when it says suggested working speed is 10. That it's not leaving anything. Well, you can see, look, look to the left. It's perfect. It's not left anything behind. So I'm happy with that. I, I'm amazed. It's not been changed as far as I'm aware. There's no like it's not been modded to go faster than it should do. It's just these end bits, which it's not got a wider pickup. So that will be the only sort of amazing thing now is if it had a wider pickup. But it's not too bad. You know, you can just shuffle along a little bit. The fact that I can go 35 and I probably could go a little bit faster. But it just seems... I mean, this seems wrong as it is. To go 30, 35 with this standard baler now. Now, granted, if we see the conveyor belt there, if we just go and zoom in a little bit, you see the conveyor belt. That's still going at standard speed because you have to change all the rotation speeds and stuff like that. I'm not getting in that messy with it. As long as it hold more, that, that's all I'm bothered about. And we just now got to... The next thing we've got to do is actually test if it's actually going to tip quicker. If I've actually got that right. And we're not too bad. We're at 150,000 litres of pellets. And you see, we're not exactly... Um, well, we're not far away from where we started. So, yeah, we're going to have a silly amount of pellets. But at the end of the day... That's not an issue because the pellets are what is going to pay us at the minute. Now, I don't know how much we're going to get for the pallet. It's a, it's its own sell point. We might have a look at you and I might see about placing down a sell anything station as well. Just to see what we actually get if there's a difference in price. I'll just get this lined up here. The uh, the old Reaper's doing a good job as well. Is he... Uh... Oh no, still going. So let's just have a quick look at the prices. I don't think we need to worry because if we look here for straw pellets, which is what we're doing, you've got other places around, so animal dealers, biomass, harbour. They're all around about similar price. And then the pallet sell point. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of a jump in that. So it looks like its own sell point that comes with the whole straw harvest mod seems to be the best place for it. So I think we'll just go with that. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the price for loose or the actual pallet form. I'm assuming it's the pallet form they're going to go for. So if we get, we're going to get just over a thousand per pallet. And you can see that the price is actually still going up. Now, obviously, that gives us the figures on there, but it says 633. That sell point has got its own price to it. So really, we're not going to, we have no idea. So, fingers crossed then, this is looking a bit more promising. I'm starting to feel a bit more happier now that eggs and these pallets, maybe we can fund this whole challenge just on that. We will see as time goes. So, we're just going to fill this up a little bit more. And then we're going to see if I've managed to get the tip a bit quicker. So, let's have a go then and see. Is this going to tip quicker? Let's just zoom in a bit so we can see. I'm, I'm hoping so. It should do. Everything else has worked okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's so much quicker. Oh, the trailer's full already. We've still got 72,000 litres in here. Wow, okay. Look at this. How cool is this trailer? So it's got a, a quite a good tip on it as well. It's nice and quick. 
this silo is still the one modded from the uh, cow challenge so uh, look at that so this is going to have a silly amount of room in here we, we, I don't think we're going to ever fill this what's it say yeah we're 1% um, full I like that trailer it's a very nice trailer now it's probably not good for certain maps where you need to get into tip points where it's low and tipping it up like that will just hit the roof so yeah maybe it's it's good for this maybe not the best for uh, low tip points right so we're going to leave this just here in the field we'll get the tally handler and i think we'll get things started because that work is going to be okay for a little while so with this production now we don't really need to do anything we've got a bucket here with what 5,000 liters in only because this production it doesn't hold a massive amount in here so i don't think we need to go for one of the big ones we can change it if need be but we'll see how we go so we'll just tip some of this in here and we don't have to really start it it will start itself as soon as it goes in we'll just go a bit further forward so we can tip in a bit more look at that lovely so it's going up into there as you can see look already we're making the pellet bags or oh, are they called bags sacks no i don't know what they're called and uh, you can see that they've got the pallets here and they're going to go through here can we can we go through and have a look and we'll see what's going on you can see they're stacking up in there as it makes them it wraps them bags them pushes them on and then it gets a nice layer and it goes and stacks them on here and then this one, it's going to spin them around the opposite way. Look at that. What a cool machine this is. So when we get a pallet then, it will basically come out here and it runs on this little conveyor belt and it just sort of stacks up, I think, two or three. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this because the production will stop. So if you never use this... That emergency stop doesn't work, by the way, so <laughs> it looks good, though. But yeah, basically, I think you can get about two or three on here, and then it will stop if it can't. It will say it's full. And it should come up with a warning at the top right to say, palletizer stopped. I think, are we, uh, are we already? Oh, yeah, look at that. We're already out. So we're already out of pallet. Mm, yeah, straw pallets in there. Pallets, pallets, and all this. This is too much... Too much peas going on here. So we're going to keep scooping this up. Maybe uh, maybe I should actually get a bigger bucket. I mean, this is the JCB one for this. Maybe I should get one of them bigger ones that I use for the wood chips. Just bear with me a second. So I think this one's going to be a bit better than this is the slightly modified one where we can get it in 5,000, 10,000, 20, or 50. I've gone for 50, which is the biggest one we can get. Just because it... I don't really know what the quantity is or what, what this holds. Oh, yeah, you can see it's filling up a lot quicker there. because This has got a quick tip as well. It's slowly going through. So, yeah, as you can see, it's not a massive quantity. But I think what we'll do is we'll just go take some of this across and we'll try and get some into this heating plant. Let's see if this can uh, work this way. It should do. See the old reapers there steaming away in the background? great that a worker seems to be doing that okay if i have a look on the map it's it's perfect no little bits left awesome all right let's just see oh let's without trying to damage anything there is this gonna be is this gonna work now is it just gonna satching can't be performed here hmm. is the heating plant broken i thought it was pallets that went into this uh, let me look into this you know what I'm not sure what was going on. So, it's working now. But it... Yeah, as you saw on camera, that, that wasn't working. It came up saying it can't perform this action. And I'm not really sure what's happened. Like, all I've done is use the upgradable factories mod to upgrade it. But I've deleted it and put the standard one back in. And it still didn't work. And it was still coming up with that can't perform this action here. I'm like, I don't get what's going on. Why? It's straw pellets. It says there, straw pellets. I don't get that. 
So I, th I thought maybe does it need to be closer to this? Is it something to do with this? And I put one here, tried it, worked fine, went straight in. I thought, okay, maybe I'm going to have to try and like redo things a bit, move it closer. Then I went and put another one back here, but as you can see, I've moved it over a bit from the cell point. And it worked. So unless he was just having a moment, I really don't know what was going on. But um, yeah, it seems to be okay now, but it's it's a very slow process, so I'm not sure how much we're going to use that. I might just stick with this. We might even get rid of it. I can get my money back on it. But it, it takes a thousand pellets to be able to do... Was it a, th a thousand pellets? Let's have a quick look on here. Oh, look at all them chicken coops on there. A thousand pellets, and it makes 130 electric. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's really actually going to be worthwhile. We might just stick with this, because at least this is going to be making us some money. 130 electric. Uh, I'm not so sure. So, for now, we can turn that off. We'll leave that there. What's happening here? Oh, it's full. Okay, so these pallets are pretty light. 215k. Maybe you shouldn't really be picking them up by hand. But, yeah, unless you move this one, it won't start the machine again. So it's, yeah, we have to make sure we keep on these. So it is only three it will take. Oh. There we go. So the machine now should, uh oh, should carry on. Is it going? Oh, yeah. Hopper must be full up there. That's why it's uh, not taking any more in. So let's just see then if we go and get one of these. Are we going to get a nice amount of money? Let's just go grab one. It said November was the best time, so we'll go run this over to the cell point and see. What do we get for this one? Is it going to unwrap it? 2,098 per pallet. Oh, yes. Yeah, I really do think this could be, this could be the way to go. So... I think we'll uh, we'll just stack this here for now. It hasn't even got a barcode on it. Oh, it's got a QR code on it. The QR code work, I wonder. Uh, anyway, we need to go and sort out the worker, so... I think that's going to be quite good. So the worker's full again. I'm not sure where the worker is. Doing quite well. So let's go over, let's empty the worker, and then we'll see if we can sort out some of these pallets. But things are going pretty well. Combine has finished. It's done. All the wheat is in the silo, and we've got another 250,000 litres here. That we're going to go in. Whoa, easy now. Nearly tipped her over there. We're going to go put this in here. Now, a couple of things have changed since I last spoke to you, and several hours in real life have passed since I last spoke to you. So, this bulk shed that was here... That I was putting the pellets in. It was a bit a bit like the wood chips that I had on the Valley of the Old Farm. We just don't know the quantity. It doesn't give you any quantity. You just don't know what's in there. And you can only get so much in there before the trailer starts hitting the roof when you try and sort of go on top of it. So I decided to sort of get rid of that, empty them out, run them through this, and then I've put basically with this pack, this is like a storage building, holds a thousand pallets. You see, you can't go in, you can't go in a big red X there. But you can see it stores all the pallets in there. It, because this production is really going to get through the pallets. It's just going to churn them out left, right and center. So I thought, well, if we have that there, I've got one across here. But I'm going to use that one for eggs because when we start getting chickens and when we start stocking up on the chickens, we are going to get a lot of eggs. And we're going to have to wait for the best time to sell the eggs. Probably the same with these pallets. So I thought, well, if we get another one, replace it here. Fits in actually quite nice there. And in the pallets, I can, if I really want to, just sort of literally like, um, you know, pick these up. Close your eyes, run around and just drop it in. So, yeah, it's... it's that's kind of where we are at the minute. The heating plant, that, that's gone. That give me a bit of money back because it's just not working right. It's so slow. It, it, no, it just it wasn't, wasn't like I said, it wasn't working right. 
So let's go put this out then. We'll get the pipe out. We should be able to tip this straight into here. Yeah. So we're going to store this in here. And then basically all I'll do is come in the telly hand on the bucket. Under the little spout. Fill it full of pellets. And go tip it in. It just, it just kind of makes sense that way. So yeah, it should be pretty good. This, like I said, things are going well at the minute. We've just got to keep doing a bit more straw swaths. But I think I'm going to do some of that off camera. But I think for now, that could be a good place to leave this one. We've done our first harvest. We've got... What do we actually... What do we end up with in here now? The wheat. 1.163. Is that what it said on the field? I think it did, didn't it? It was around about that. 1.6... 1... 1.163,000. 1, 1, 1. 1.16 million. Wow. That's just one harvest of that field. That should be pretty good. Now, it depends on what these hold... Do we get some chicken? Uh, you see, I want to get some chickens now, but I think I'm going to make you wait for the next episode on that one. We will get some chickens. I'm going to keep this pallet production, pallet thingy-bajingy going. I'm going to see if we can try and stock some pallets up in there. And then I'm going to try and sell them because I think... Well, actually, no. I think November was the best time, but then obviously this has its own, as we can see, has its own. Oh, yeah more for hay than straw hmm so we'll leave it there we'll come back next time we will then hopefully have a bit more money and we can start purchasing some chickens put some food in and get the ball rolling do they need water as well hmm not sure on that we will find out when we get some chickens so do join me for the next episode hit subscribe hit like and join me on the journey to 1 million chickens gonna be a good one i will see you in the next episode